Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day over there. It's almost St. Patrick's Day, so I decided to make a Lucky Charms PowerPoint game for you guys. Uh, you can download this free template below this video. Um, but before that, I hope that you can subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I uh, put them up on this channel. Also, I want to say a big huge thank you to all of the viewers, subscribers, and supporters. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you. Also, if you guys have any suggestions or questions about this particular PowerPoint game, you can leave a comment uh, below this video as well. So let's start this game by hitting the play button. Mine's located right here, so click on that. And now we have the Lucky Charms game here, Breakfast Mania. Um, also, you can edit this uh, PowerPoint game for your lesson as well, and I'll show you how to do that later. So click here to start the game. So just click right here, this box right here. Now we have our main uh, game board here, and we have three teams. So you can play this one-on-one, -on -one, or you can play it in a, a group of three. So we have team one, team two, and team three. So uh, this game, we want to collect all the charms, eight charms. Here we have on the right, we have the QA button, and we have three boxes to choose from, three cereal boxes, green, red, and purple. So once the students answer uh, correctly, they can choose a cereal box to try to get a prize. And up here on the top right, we have the rules. So go ahead and click on that. And this will explain to you how to play this particular PowerPoint game. So here's the rules. Hello! Um, so the students first click on um, Lucky and then they will answer a question. And if they can answer it correctly, they can choose a uh, cereal box. Uh, they can choose a green box, red box, or a purple box. And they want to collect all eight charms to win the game. So once they collect all eight charms here, uh, they win the game. But if they get a unicorn charm, they can remove one charm for, from any team. So if they get this charm, they can remove any charm from any team. <laughs> Alright, so that's the basic rule of this game, but you can use it however way you want for your lesson. So let's click on the return button here and go back to the main board game here. And let's see um, what it looks like when we click on Lucky here. It's going to take us to the QA slide and we have our add question up here. So you can edit this and add your own question to uh, match your lesson, maybe a St. Patrick's Day lesson or any lesson you want. It's really up to you. Click on Lucky here. Go ahead. And that will bring up our answer. So you can add the answer down here. And you can also insert a picture on this slide as well. It's very simple. Just um, insert picture and you can put it anywhere you want on this slide. And if the students can answer correctly, you can click on the return clover here, this button right here, this clover. So click on that. And that will take us back to the main board game. And now they can choose a cereal box. So green, red, or purple. So. Um, maybe the student wants, uh, wants to choose the green cereal box. <laughs> and now they found a charm. So they found a uh, rainbow charm here. Uh, we'll add that to their um, score or their board or their cereal bowl. So go ahead, click on Lucky up here, and I'll take us back to the main board game. And that was Team 1, so we'll add the rainbow charm there. Again, go to Lucky here on the right, click on him to go to the QA slide. And you can edit your question up here. And if you click on him, it will bring up the answer. Here, you can also edit this as well to match your lesson. And then you can click on the return button to go back to the main board game here. And now they can choose a cereal box. So let's choose the red one this time, maybe. And let's see what we get. 
All right, we got two charms this time. So this this team got a um, horseshoe, and uh, maybe that's a balloon there, a pink balloon. Um, now we can add this to the scoreboard. So we can click on Lucky here, up here. So go ahead and click on that. <laughs> and we can go back and add, and it was a um, that one and a horseshoe there. Again, uh, you can go to Lucky here, click on him to go to the QA slide. And if the students can answer correctly, uh, they can choose a cereal Hello. box. And click on the return button here to take us back to the main board game. And now they can choose a cereal box. Let's choose a purple one this time and see what we get. This time we got three charms. Lucky. All right. We got a um, rainbow, a horseshoe, and a blue moon. So let's click on Lucky up here to go back to the main uh, board game. So go ahead and do that. <laughs> and now we can add the charms here. Once they collect all eight charms, they win the game. Hello. If you enjoy my materials and would like to see more content like this, don't forget to um, leave a comment below this video and I'll definitely uh, take a look at that. And if you are um, parents, and you want to use this for a lesson for your uh, for your child, it's perfectly fine as well. So this box, uh, we get just cereal. Um, so there's no charms here. So you can click on Lucky here and go back and we can try a different box to see if you can get any more charms. So let's click on this one. And uh, same thing here. There's no charm here, just cereal. So we're going to keep trying until we get some more charms to add to our <laughs> bowl here. And let's try another one here. Uh, maybe we'll try um, uh, this one, maybe. Maybe this we'll get lucky and find some more charms by clicking on this one. Oh, we found a star, a shooting star. And let's click on uh, Lucky here to go back so we can add that to our cereal. All right, so we got three charms there. And you can play around with this template, um, see how it goes. And I will show you how to edit this template a little bit later. So I hope you can watch this video till the end to learn how to do that as well. So here we got a rainbow charm. So then, but they already have a rainbow here, so they don't get any more charms there. So we want to get eight charms to win. So let's look for a um, a unicorn charm, but we got a uh, blue moon here, so we can add that to our cereal bowl as well. So just click on that. So we'll just keep on clicking on the cereal until we find a uh, a unicorn, and the unicorn can remove uh, any charm from any team. You can remove one charm from any team. So let's click, keep on clicking on it and let's see if we can find a unicorn. Oh, nope, just more cereal. All right. And uh, let's try one more time. Let's see if we get lucky this time. And oh, we got three charms this time. Still no unicorn. We'll keep looking for the unicorn. But they got three charms. So we can add that to their uh, cereal bowl there. And maybe we'll get a uh, unicorn this time. Not yet. All right, so let's try one last time. Oh, there we go. We got the unicorn charm. This is the unicorn charm here. So they can remove one charm from any team. So go ahead, we'll click on Lucky up here to return back to the main uh, game board. So we'll click on that. <laughs> and now we can remove one charm from any team. So I want to remove maybe, uh, maybe I'll remove 
this one from Team 3. Okay, so you can do that. But you can play this however way you want um, with the rules. You don't have to remove one charm. Maybe you can remove two charms if you want. It's really up to you. So that's how this Lucky Charm game works. All right. Um, this is the rules again. So if you uh, want to know about the rules, just click on the rule button on top. And if you want to support this channel even further, you can click here and you can support more projects like these. Also, if you guys have any ideas for games or suggestions, don't hesitate to write them down in the section below and I'll uh, definitely take a look at that and I'll do my best to see what I can do for the next up and coming games. All right, so now let's take a look at how we can edit this game for ourselves. So there's not too many things to edit here. We have the main game board up here and we have 50 questions here. If you want to make extra questions, just uh, hit one of the slides here and you just hit duplicate if you want. And here we have box one, which is the green box. And below that we have uh, box number two, which is the red box here. And we have uh, the final box is the, it's the purple box here, box number three over here. And let's see if we can edit something here. And here's the teacher's note. So you can read through that on also how to play this game as well. And uh, let's just choose a serial box here. So let's choose this slide here and we just zoom out and find the charms here. And we can change the picture by right clicking and going to um, change picture and from a file. Again, right click, go to change picture from a file and you can change the picture. And I'll also include the pictures for you guys in the um, description box so you can download the pictures to edit your own game as well. So here uh, we'll change this as well. And I'll show you guys how that looks in a little while. So maybe we want a clover hat here. And um, maybe we can also do like another, uh, <laughs> maybe another clover hat as well. Let's let's make them all clover hats. Right, let's change this one as well here to clover hats. All right, now we got all three clover hats. So they only get one. Um, if it's three pictures like this, they only get one um, one charm. So let's see what it looks like. We'll go back to the main board game and we're going to hit play to take a look at that. And there was the purple box. So let's click on the purple box here and let's see what it looks like. All right, now we got our new charms in there. And don't forget to um, save your game after you edit the game so you don't lose all of the hard work. <laughs> And there you have it. You can add the charm there for team two or whatever team um, got the charms. And again, you can click on the rules to learn about the Hello. rules here. I hope you guys enjoy this little uh, PowerPoint Hello. game for St. Patrick's Day. And if you want to see more contents like this, um, don't forget to like, share and comment. It would really help out this channel a lot. And I would really appreciate it, if you guys can share my materials as well with other teachers and help them find um, this channel. Again, I want to wish you guys best of luck in your classes.